Hello beautiful people of the world, welcome to your reading today. So I decided guys to do your uh, July 2024 predictions. So grab your coffee, your tea, your cocktail, whatever you like. And uh, let's see what's going on this July. What's coming for you this month? We'll see what's going to come out uh, romantically, financially or anything else that you need to know. So you can choose your pile now, one, two, three, as usual, which I will insert right now, and I'm going for pile number one. Hello, pile one. Welcome, guys. If you chose this candle, this reading is for you. Uh, I offer personal readings. You can find the information in the description box in the comment section if you're interested. So let's start. Let's see, guys, what's going to happen for you in July 2024. So first of all, you have here the candle and the sun. And let's see your card here. You have Ace of Stones, the foundation of life. So this is equivalent to the Ace of Pentacles in the conventional tarot deck. This beautiful card here. So this tells me, guys, that you are going to manifest something huge um, this month in July. Something is manifesting for you. Something is growing here, coming out of the ground. It either means that if you put the work in the last months, the previous months of the year, now you will start to see results, right? Or it could mean, guys, that um, you will see the saw now in this month and you're going to see the results in the next month, in the upcoming months. So this uh, month, July 2024, will be very significant for you because um, for some of you I get that you will get your wish fulfilled, that this month will give you a lot of opportunities as well to manifest what you desire. But I get uh, something is definitely growing here for you. And also your manifestation skills are, ve are very powerful because you also have here the candle. And this reminds me of uh, abundance spells, success spells. Maybe use candle magic, some of you, and we have the sun. And the sun is speaking about success, about happiness, about getting your wish, being happy about it. So definitely here a good sign already that we start with these messages. And yes, I'm getting here that uh, you will get what you wish and this will manifest into the 3D, into reality for you. But because we have this small shadow over here, maybe this idea will start growing now or the results will start to, you know, to grow from this month and on to next month, right? You also have foundation of life. Some of you might get pregnant this month. Not for all. This is not a message for all. But uh, it's possible. And I get something about creativity here. A lot of you will be very creative. will have a lot of creative ideas. And if you do have such ideas, uh, the message is to write these ideas down, not to forget them. And to, you know, look at them in the morning especially. And try to think how you can put these ideas into practice and uh, manifest them into reality, you know. But definitely I see creativity and a huge potential for you guys. It could be in relationships, manifesting someone. It could be in finances because uh, typically Ace of Pentacles speaking about finances. But it's also about manifestation. So it will be different for um, each and every one of you, right? It's not the same. But yes, I get a lot of positivity for you. And uh, a lot of potential for this month. So let's see what's more now. Okay.
Okay, pile one, very interesting cards you got here. First of all, we have uh, King of Pentacles, and this deck is the King of Stones. It's portrayed as the wolf. We have Strength card, Seven of Pentacles, and uh, other cards here that indicate that this month will be very rich for you. In every aspect, it will bring you security financially, also pleasure in love. Uh, it will bring you healing emotionally, mentally. It will bring you a lot of realizations, I feel, about things, how to cope with things. And also, if you're asking about romance, I see that uh, there is a possibility that you will meet a new person. Because we have King of Pentacles and also we have Angel of Love. So, I feel this month will be rich uh, in every aspect for you. So let's see here, let's take it step by step and find out uh, what will bring you on every field here, right? Let's see. Okay, so the King of Pentacles or King of Stones in this deck is speaking about um, robust health. If you guys have some health issues, they will um, improve definitely because we have also the healing card over here and we also have door to personal healing and happiness so a lot of confirmations for you if you are dealing with some um, you know health issues they will improve definitely this is a good month for you to look after your health uh, probably try to eat healthier if you can right look a little bit into that be a bit mindful of your health but uh, this card is the King of Pentacles and um, traditionally this uh, is speaking about uh, finances. If you guys have a business, your business will start to, you know, to thrive I feel. Everything will fall into place in your business and you will see results here I feel. Tangible results and you will have success financially. If this is uh, you as a businesswoman or businessman, then you will be able to have the reins of your business and to handle your business with um, elegance and wisdom because you have a lot of cards speaking about wisdom and knowledge, I think in woman as well. So maybe you will take some uh, courses or seminars, learning more about how to handle your business better. And this will be successful, I feel. These cards are speaking about sponsorships, about uh, financial help coming from someone. It could be from a king of pentacles, from a man or a woman, doesn't matter. It might help you financially. But it's definitely speaking about financial support, about uh, increase in your finances, right? So your finances will start to get better either because of your business or because someone is helping you or because of your uh, improved skills, right, to manage your business better. Also, guys, the message here is uh, that there is a difference between profit and value. So maybe you will uh, learn this this month or maybe you will reap the results of this realization. So this simply means that if you put effort into something to provide value that uh, you will get in return a lot of profits, right? Increased finances. Or maybe you'll realize it this month and you'll start to act accordingly in your business if you have a business or, uh, you know, at your workplace. So you'll realize that uh, if you put value into something, if you provide value, that this brings you satisfaction but also financial gains. If it's about love, then maybe you'll meet a person that is financially secure, like the King of Pentacles. I feel this person is strong, is secure in themselves as well, grounded, they might be very loyal. This person, guys, might be experienced, more mature than you, or a mature person in general. Maybe they have a traditional mindset or maybe this person will help you financially 
and they have a traditional mindset in business and getting something about all the money I don't know what that means but it could mean something for someone that is watching right and this person I feel is very reliable and they are a very good uh, businessman they are very good in their business and uh, they know how to manage their finances well so I feel like this person is uh, is good financially if this is uh, romantic interest right for others I feel guys you might um, acquire an estate new house maybe you buy a house get this message just for some here next up this month guys you have uh, the strength card which is a wood word in this deck this beautiful card so I feel guys that you will manage to face your fears first of all you will understand better yourself and uh, the darkness in you because all of us have darkness in us we have goodness we have light we have dark and we have evil we have everything and uh, it's in our power with maturity right meditation and so on experiences to transmute this energy of negativity of darkness into something more powerful like patience calmness expressing love uh, potentially forgiving someone so I feel like uh, these messages will come to you through wisdom I also feel that you're very connected to spirit we have this card here door to personal healing and happiness with this um, pigeon we have the temple path we have the unicorn it says use your intuition to make beneficial changes we have um, ground chakra so I feel you guys are very connected to your spirit guides which are helping you to evolve spiritually to transmute your energy your spirit guides are around you and they are uh, helping you a lot in this regard and potentially forgive forgive yourself and be able to evolve maybe you forgive people around you that wronged you it could be anyone past relationships I feel for some for others could be your um, your own family so if it's about relationships we have here as well the broken heart and uh, healing and happiness right after that an angel of love so I feel you'll be able this month to transmute this energy to alchemize and to get rid of this negativity to face your fears your negativity and to become stronger in every aspect here personally spiritually for some it's financially because it's next to the king of pentacles here so I see you guys taking a step back and uh, looking at yourself or at your problems eye to eye which is very brave and it's very admirable here and also this is a message for you if you feel tired, exhausted don't feel well, take a step back to regain your uh, powers to recharge energetically, physically, maybe you need it maybe you'll have some time for yourself to recuperate because I see a lot of cards talking about healing here so this month is a good month for you to do that to heal yourself and you will also guys some of you I feel like you you will stop for a minute and you will say to yourself wait a minute I need to rethink some things and you will say to yourself that you're not a victim even if uh, people have wronged you I feel guys that uh, this month is very transformational for you and uh, you will regain power which is real power and confidence in yourself and uh, you will realize that um, what these people did to you says more about them than you and I feel that you guys will get rid of your anger, your hate in your heart and uh, will be able to become 
to acquire this real confidence about you. I also feel here with the strength that you will become fierce, right? You will believe more yourself. You will believe that you have all the tools to be successful here financially, physically, emotionally, to have more confidence in your uh, personal uh, relationships, romantic relationships, and you will start to believe more in yourself, uh, which is really great, I really love that. So you will feel more grounded here, I feel, and you will be able to rebalance yourself. And this month is a month of huge growth for you spiritually. And uh, your spirit guides are near you. I can see that here you're very connected and also very protected and guided. They guide you for you to get these uh, breakthroughs spiritually and to transform your energy to evolve, right? So I really love that for you guys. Congratulations. And this will lead you to your um, personal healing and happiness. So you will be able to heal your heart, no matter who wronged you here. Could be romantically, could be family, could be friendship, whatever that is. You will be able to heal your heart and to transmit your energy in order to succeed in whatever that is that you want to succeed in. Even this card over here, it's a seven of pentacles with healing. Beautiful again. And uh, this card is speaking uh, about physical or emotional sickness or illness. And this month you'll be able to have this uh, time of rest, rejuvenation, healing. And also this card is very significant here because again it's speaking about um, healing through peace and this is coming from a spiritual source to you spirits are helping you your spirit guides your ancestors whoever are near you they are helping you through that and uh, through this journey through this transformation guys you will become peaceful in your heart and um, as I say that I become a little bit emotional because uh, I feel that you guys were waiting for this moment for a long time and now you'll be able to set yourself free, you know what I mean? Wow, that's really amazing here. Spirit advise you guys to forgive and you will be set free. That's the message here. And of course you don't have to force anything, you don't uh, need to force forgiveness. But the message here is that sometimes, guys, we hold on to, on to the pain because it also keeps us close to the source of the pain, <laughs> if you know what I mean here. So in this process, if we are emotionally attached or otherwise attached, it's difficult to let go of the pain because it keeps you close to the person that caused you the pain. And this month you'll be able to, to free yourself uh, through wisdom again, through spiritual practice, through patience and uh, forgiveness for a lot of you. Also we have here nine of arrows with dedication. So you guys this month um, will uh, dedicate yourself to the greater good I feel. You will be able to help people with your skills no matter what these skills are with your business. So I feel like uh, through this um, emotional change that you will have or spiritual change, this will help you to focus more on your goals, on your skills. And these skills that you have will help a lot of people in a way or another. It doesn't matter here what that is because a lot of people are watching and everybody of you has different uh, skills and different businesses and you help people potentially in your own way, right? But definitely there is a huge change here, transformation. We also have the change card, as you can see here. Oops, over here. Huge change and transformation for you this month. And uh, this is really great again, because uh, your evolution will help also 
other people, the greater good, your community. Okay guys, as I mentioned, uh, this month you'll be very connected to spirit, to your spirit guides. Your intuition will be increased, will be on point. We have seven chakra, our crown chakra will, with Archangel Uriel. You also have the unicorn, use your intuition. Your intuition will help you a lot in your endeavors, into your uh, realizations here, into your spiritual evolution. And uh, you guys will be provided all the answers that you seek from your spirit guides and the blessings also that you desire and that you deserve. So information will be flowing to you, free flowing from your guides around you. We have also the temple path which is all about spiritual evolution. And this transformation, guys, that you will undergo this month will lead you to your blessings. You're very close to your goals. You're on your path to your uh, life's purpose as well, which is really amazing. Great message for you. And uh, you will be blessed. You will be blessed because uh, you guys are willing to transform yourself, to evolve and to put you know, negativity aside to forgive and uh, that's why you will be blessed by the universe. You guys are on the right path because you got this card. This is a reminder, a confirmation for you if you are wondering about that. And you are on the right uh, track here on your karmic path and karmic doesn't mean a bad thing. This is just uh, what you are destined to go through, right? And you are heading into the right direction right now. And Spirit tells you through this reading that the choices that you will make now are very important. For your uh, personal growth, your life lessons and also very important for your um, financial here and material abundance. This, uh, these decisions that you will uh, make now will help you on this path as well to get uh, monetary blessings. Then we have the thinking woman. So I feel this is you, that you will get a higher and better understanding on something. It could be on your finances, on your business, it could be emotionally. It could be that you guys understand better your feelings here. Or it could be that you get advice from someone. Maybe your mother, maybe a friend, and they will help you to heal. But for most of you, I get that uh, you get here this deeper understanding about something yourself. And that's why you're able to heal, you know. For some, it could be a new love interest, a woman who is very thoughtful, very smart. But for most, I feel that this is you guys. Next we have this card, it says towards personal healing and happiness. And this is a very significant card because um, it's a card of positive change and transformation again. So see how all these messages uh, bind together very well. So this is speaking about inner healing again, healing your heart, as I said here with this broken heart. And uh, some of you guys might break out of an addiction. It could be even addiction to negative thinking. It doesn't have to be something uh, material. But uh, yes, for uh, different people will be different addictions here. Addictions to people, addictions to wanting someone back perhaps, to a person, to an ex. Addiction to holding grudges could be. So I feel like you will get rid of the past and move into the future here. For some it means that you might uh, move to a new place. This card is speaking definitely about new opportunities, about uh, being hopeful for the future, about uh, getting the results that you want, about being optimistic, and transmuting your energy and manifesting what you want here. So yes, you will get what you want and you are on the right path 
guys. This month, July 2024, will be great for your personal transformation, I feel. Next, we have the Angel of Love. For some, it could be that you guys will meet a new romantic interest. It could be the King of Pentacles, as I said, or the Thinking Woman, for others of you. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, for others, it could be your self-love growing. It's again healing your heart, I feel. And uh, the angels, your spirit guides, are very attentive to you. They love you and they help you guys. I get these messages again and again. You're uh, loved unconditionally. Even if you don't feel like that, in your 3D, you are loved by the universe and uh, you should know that. And uh, you're a huge deal to the universe and your spirit guides. If you believe otherwise, these are just uh, 3D illusions, right, on this planet that we live in. And the message here is to be compassionate to yourself, tender to yourself. Because uh, you're very important to the universe. And again here with the dedication card that we got before, and the temple path, you're very important also for other people's lives and to help other people in your community and in general. So again, I'm getting a bit emotional because um, yes, this is a very significant message that my spirit guides want me to tell you guys. All right, let's see what's more. Let's see these cards. So I explained already about this one, is uh, change, it's about your uh, inner transformation here. It could also be outer transformation, like uh, improving your looks, right? We have intelligence and the thinking woman. Definitely you will have some realizations about how you manage things, about everything, about your business, about yourself, relationships in your life. And you will get this um, breakthroughs, ideas, I feel. Okay, you also have faith and wisdom. So this tells me again that you're very connected to your spirit guides. And uh, you will get downloads from them. Even this angel is holding this book, which is representing the Akashic Records. You will get a lot of insights, you will get a lot of um, wisdom this month, which will help you a lot in the future. We have meditation. Yes, this is again about transmutation of a negative energy into positive. So meditation will help you and uh, will help you achieve this inner balance, hopefulness, feeling complete, feeling whole. Let the negativity go away. And we have also righteousness, which is speaking about um, destiny, justice, karma, and uh, virtuousness. So this tells me, guys, that uh, as I said before, you're on the right track on your destiny, on your uh, karma. And uh, you're about to clear your karma very soon. And this is coming through your uh, spiritual evolution and transformation here, which is very, very good for you. Okay, let's see these cards now. We have Wind Chimes, Peace and Harmony. You see? So you will attain peace and harmony, inner peace. We also have successfully overcoming a problem, whatever that problem is to you guys, you will be able to rise above and to overcome it. If it's something um, having to do with your business <clears throat> or legal matters, because these cards are speaking about justice and legal matters, you will overcome these problems successfully. We have bouquet with compliments from an admirer. So for some of you it could be that you meet someone new in love, right? And uh, you will get a new admirer here and compliments. And we have younger man, the links or relationship with younger men, so this admirer could be younger than your young person in general, 
Horseshoe, good luck. So very good cards for you guys, congratulations. This month I feel will be very good for you. Heart, love, deep affection and caring. Yes, could be speaking about uh, the new romantic connection, but it's also speaking about your heart healing, your self-love, right? Beautiful. We have loot, disappointment in a friend or lover. Hmm. Yes, so for some of you guys, uh, you might get disappointed from your partner and we, because we also had a broken heart here. It could be for some that uh, you might get a little bit stung in the heart from someone like a lover or a friend and for others it means that um, you will get past that disappointment and you will be able to heal as I explained. We have haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. You see guys? Yes, a lot of messages about karma. That you're going through some uh, karmic lessons right now. But uh, you're on the right path to clear your karma. We have heals, obstacles to overcome. And we had before overcoming uh, problems successfully. So these obstacles you will overcome. Firecracker excitement. Wow. And we also have a new home, you see. I told you before about moving into a new house. New home, new attitude. Again, about you changing your attitude towards things. And you'll be very excited about something. It could be about a new person or uh, this uh, new opportunity, about your manifestation, about your finances. You also have ARP, great happiness. Wow, congratulations guys, very nice. And at the end we have someone working against you behind your back. So it could be that maybe you have someone in your environment that you should be careful about. This is a message for you, a warning. Okay, you guys, so that's all I had for you, pile one. Very, very nice pile, amazing. If you resonate with these messages, uh, you can give me a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hello guys, hello pile number two. If you chose this hand with the tarot cards, <laughs> this reading is for you. If you would like a personal reading, I do offer a same day reading. You can find the information in the description box in the comment section. So let's find out how July 2024 will be for you and uh, what blessings are coming, what's going to happen for you. All right, let's see your card. We have the guardian which in this deck uh, is representing the devil and uh, the devil it will be guys uh, something to do with the temptation with addictions perhaps we'll see what the cards will show it could be romantic temptation it could be you know sexual adventures wink wink for some for us it could be that uh, your finances will increase because the devil card is very good for finances right for money. I also feel guys that uh, you'll be able to control your own fears here and your insecurities and uh, you'll be able to do that with courage, right? You'll rise above these fears and some insecurities perhaps and you will become, uh, you know, more stronger, more courageous and I feel like uh, it's like a test here this month so that you can uh, evolve and uh, that you can believe more in yourself that's one message I'm getting so I'm very curious now let's shuffle the cards and find out more information about that All right, so for you, pile two, we have uh, great cards here as well. We have uh, the Green Woman, which is the Empress. In this deck, we have uh, three of stones, three of pentacles with creativity. 
We have nine of cups, which is wish fulfillment. We have uh, three of cups, which is about community celebration again. And the three of uh, pentacles again about uh, community celebration, creativity. So very good cards here of abundance, of blessings coming to you. We also have here romance, financial gains, vacations, happiness and well-being. And I got these cards which are um, like runes, you see, the rune signs. I don't have runes, so I have these cards for you today. Which is the same thing and we will see what they will reveal to you. And uh, we also have here a lot of uh, other messages. So there is some challenge in energy as well this month, but overall uh, the energy is very good because you have the Empress. And the Empress is speaking about abundance, fertility, getting your wishes fulfilled next to the Nine of Cups over here. Some of you guys might uh, give birth to a baby or you could be getting pregnant this month. This month will bring you a lot of blessings, I feel. Abundance. Uh, the Empress is also speaking about successful business, prosperity. If you have a business, your business will, uh, you know, start to thrive this month. I feel that you are blessed, but I have to warn you that these blessings might feel to you like um, a little bit... These are like blessings in disguise, you know what I mean? Because of the devil energy, uh, you might have some tricky energy around you this month some negativity, but uh, you will have a lot of personal growth through this energy. So you will overcome this energy, you will get to the energy of abundance of the Empress, but uh, you will need to exercise your strength and your courage, right? Okay, so let's uh, take it step by step here. First of all, guys, I would like to speak about the devil a little bit because I feel uh, it's a very significant energy for you this month. So the devil energy is a um, very potent energy and it doesn't mean necessarily what you think it means. So the devil is considered as a trickster, right? It tricks us to believe in uh, negative things, perhaps uh, low self-esteem, perhaps, um, you know, wallow into some uh, situation that drags you down. But these situations in our life, the devil's energy is a huge contrast to what we really want, what we wish for. Happiness, light, love, acceptance, high self-esteem, all of these beautiful things, right? But the thing is that a lot of people don't understand that the devil's energy is like a blessing in disguise. Because if you reach the bottom of things and um, if you guys really put thought into it, you will realize sooner or later that uh, this energy is actually there to help you. To help you realize that this is just illusion. Feeling very low, feeling uh, addicted, feeling, um, you know, that you have low self-esteem. These are all just illusions. These are not real. What is real is that you guys and everyone, everyone, each one of us is very powerful. And uh, when you believe that you are captive to something, that you cannot escape something, this is just an illusion. And when you think about it, this could be anything. This is a huge discussion, of course, but um, when you feel trapped, when you feel addicted to something, when you feel like something is holding on to you, you always have a choice. You always have a choice to escape and you always have a choice to realize that um, this is just irrational fears. And you can always better yourself get out of this negativity you can always reach light whenever you want you can always say that this is it I'm not going to be afraid anymore I'm not going to be trapped anymore 
I'm going to try, I'm going to show myself as my best self. And it doesn't mean that you're going to all of a sudden from one day to the next one will become, uh, you know, your best version uh, appearance wise or, you know, emotionally wise. But the thing is that even the realization that this is irrational, that this doesn't exist, these irrational fears that keep you trapped in a way, maybe it's depression. Uh, it could be anything guys, anything negative here, but this month you will have this realization and you'll be able to overcome these irrational fears, you'll be able to come out of that and uh, you're going to actually reach happiness and well-being with the sun card. You're going to uh, walk into the light, metaphorically speaking of course, and you'll get your wish. And your wish I get for a lot of you is to become more confident, is to get yourself together and uh, to overcome some fears that you have. This is very deep discussion and I will not go into that deeper, you know, because we need a lot of time. But the point is that for some it could be something to do with addictions that you will be able to overcome. Addiction can be anything, addiction to negative thinking, uh, it could be depression and you will get out of it. So I feel uh, there is some challenge in energy, but at the end, during this month, you will have some realizations and you will uh, be able to come out of that. So this energy is always, guys, always blessing in disguise. And I'm not trying to, you know... To say that the devil is good energy, it's not good energy, but uh, it exists for a reason. So it exists so that you can see the contrast, it exists for you to propel you from the bottom to the sky, you know. So think about that. Uh, this month I get that you'll have this realization that you're more powerful, powerful than you think, excuse me, and uh, you'll be able to overcome that. And for some others, guys, it's not that deep, it's just that uh, you will have a lot of uh, sexuality, maybe you'll have some sexual adventure this month, maybe you'll be tempted, you know, <laughs> in your environment, uh, because you have three of pentacles and three of cups. So for some it could mean that you will meet new people, that you will socialize, maybe you meet like a new romantic interest and you'll have some um, sexual adventures here. It could be, but this month is very full with adventure for some others of you, with socializing, with meeting new people, celebrating with the Three of Cups. And a lot of blessings are coming to you, the Nine of Cups, of course. This is your wish fulfilled. So as I said, for some it could be that you guys will leave this negativity behind and maybe meditation will help you. As you can see here, this person is meditating. And uh, you will reach um, this higher level. You will elevate spiritually, I feel. And uh, Nine of uh, Cups is wish fulfilled. Emotional fulfillment, satisfaction. And uh, I also see the storks. Again, I get the message, some of you might get pregnant. If you don't like that at this moment, be careful. Because we have the stork and the empress. So this is definitely a message for some. But there is a lot of uh, <laughs> fertility this month for you. But also creativity and fertility, you know what that means. It means a lot of sexuality again. Sexual energy. Um, yeah, so some of you will have fun. And for others it could be that you have some uh, challenging energy that you have to overcome this month. You have a lot of creativity and inspiration in your uh, professional environment. So I get that this month you will be very creative in your work, also very productive and um, because three of pentacles speaking about work as well. Some of you guys might get a new uh, job opportunity I get and uh, this could be through collaboration with people, maybe networking events, 
because I see three of pentacles with the three of uh, cups. So it could be that your finances will increase. Uh, maybe you will get some new opportunities in these uh, networking events. Maybe you got some seminars. Maybe you're able to, to improve something, like to learn new skills that will help you. But I get a lot of networking, a lot of uh, celebration, a lot of events this month happening for you. For others of you, I see you traveling, guys, the stork symbol of travel. Maybe you go on a trip with your friends. I see here three people at least. Yes, maybe you travel somewhere, uh, you go on vacation, because we also have here the kite and the sun. So it tells vacation and the sun, summer holidays, some of you will have a really amazing time during this travel with your friends or your family could be here. Also here with the Nine of Cups, the message is that you guys will get your wish after uh, maybe some challenges or some uh, hardships. So in this Dex leaflet or booklet, however it's called, this card is uh, also embodying the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. So after some hardship, good things are coming, right? And you'll be able to get your wish. And also this card is saying that helping others will give you a lot of emotional fulfillment. So keep that in mind for some of you that uh, you have this mission helping others. Uh, you're on the right path here, that's the message. Let's see your runes. So first of all we have the Dagaz. This is the symbol of your first rune with the butterfly. And this is described as a breakthrough. As a big transformation for you, a balancing point, awakening. So this month, guys, uh, will be very significant, uh, you know, changing transformational point during this year for you. Some of you might have a glow up during this month. You will start uh, feeling better, looking better. And because of the huge transformation and the energy, the challenging energy that I talked about before, about the devil's energy, I get that uh, you'll be able to transmute this uh, energy into something beautiful. You'll come out of depression, of negativity, of anything that uh, you know scares you, of your fears, and you'll be able to see life with different eyes, which is really great. Next, we have this symbol, and it's Tiwaz with the eagle and the sword. And this is uh, speaking about justice, sacrifice, loyalty, and victory. And justice is speaking sub sometimes about karma. And the sword is also a symbol of uh, karma, of bringing balance into your life. So I get the same message here. That maybe you guys uh, had to overcome some karmic lessons. Maybe you're... Uh, going through them right now, through these um, difficult moments, but uh, this karma is going to be cleared out. Maybe not immediately, but uh, July for you will be a good month to put this negativity, as I said, behind you and to transform yourself. And also this card is holding the energy of sacrifice. Maybe you have to sacrifice something that's familiar to you. Yes, I don't know what that is exactly to you. For everybody, it will be different. Sacrifice doesn't mean something, uh, you know, huge, always, necessarily. But maybe you'll have guys to put behind your addictions for some. And you'll be successful because we have the Empress card. Next one, we have Algis. And uh, Algis is speaking about courage independence and higher self so you see it's all about you overcome your fears and becoming more courageous and you'll be able to do that this month so it's like you're elevating here spiritually as well maybe you should watch also pile number one which was uh, all about spiritual evolution it was amazing if you are drawn to pile one definitely watch it and we have this uh, Fourth symbol, the Lagoose. 
And uh, the Lagus is the energy, again, of fate and karma, and also flow. So again, I get this message that you're on the right path of uh, overcoming your karma here. All right, let's see what's more. So I talked about uh, your holidays. The sun is speaking about happiness, well-being. Definitely good energy coming to you. Vacations, holidays for some. You will enjoy your vacation. Maybe you will meet a new person. Because um, the Empress is speaking about love sometimes. And celebration here we have community. So maybe during your holidays we'll meet someone new. We have dolphin with financial gain. Usually coming from something you did in the past. Yes, yeah, so maybe this month uh, you will see your finances growing. As I said, the Empress is speaking about abundance, prosperity coming to you, which is very nice. And confirmation, we have the rose, romance in the air. Yes, yeah, so some will meet a new person, I feel. It could be a woman or a man. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's see what's next. We have torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, understanding, you see? Definitely I feel guys that uh, you evolve spiritually this month a lot. You will become more self-aware and you will put your fears behind. We have Gong, an exciting event. Maybe it's about your holidays, about uh, networking events. As I mentioned, something exciting is coming this month for you guys. We have Peacock. Beware of great pride. Hmm. Interesting. So maybe this is talking about the devil's energy again. Maybe some of you are prideful and you will need to look into that a little bit. Or maybe someone around you is. And this is acting like a block between you. Maybe someone has their ego in place in regards to you, your connection. Next we have Crib. Wow. Birth or conception of child and, and or enterprise. I didn't even uh, see that card. So I told you someone might get pregnant or give birth to a child, but it could be a business as well, because Empress is about business sometimes, right? Enterprises. Maybe you'll give a new idea uh, for a business. Maybe you'll start a business. We have mountain, major challenge to overcome. So I spoke about this challenge, uh, I will not speak again about it. For some it could be about your fears. We have here fly a period of ill health, depression. I also mentioned this, but you, you will overcome it guys. We have frying pan, trouble, accusations. Mm. Maybe you have some disagreement with someone this month. Which someone is trying to come between you and a friend. Or something that you want. Yes, yeah, so this might be speaking about some different type of challenge here that you'll have to overcome. But take care, enemies are working against you. And you have May. Maybe something happened in May. Problem between you and someone. But overall the energy is good. So whatever uh, these obstacles are, you'll be able to see these with different eyes this month. And to overcome them with grace with courage and uh, you will get a lot of blessings because uh, the Empress card is everything she brings abundant energy and blessings wherever she is so pile number two that's all I had for you guys today if you like this reading if you resonate with the message you can give me a like subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time bye bye Hi Pile 3, welcome if you chose the Witch's Hat sticker. This reading is for you. If you would like a personal reading, you can find my information in the description box in the comment section. So let's start and let's see guys what about you and uh, all about your July 2024. What's going to happen for you, what's coming for you. Let's see your card. Wow. Two of Cups Attraction. So maybe if you meet someone, there is going to be mutual attraction. 
Uh, yes, I feel a lot of chemistry with someone. If you're already in a relationship, your connection, your uh, bond will become stronger. Very nice. So, I will shuffle now the cards immediately and then let's find out more about what's uh, coming for you this month. Okay guys, so for you, as I said in the beginning, maybe you meet someone new. It could be love at first sight here. Two of cups speaking about attraction, intense chemistry, <clears throat> unions, relationships. Maybe you guys enter a new relationship with someone. But definitely strong attraction we have next to the wood award and this is the card the equivalent of the strength card. So you might meet a person that will steer a lot of um, raw desire in you, attraction, hope also for the future. We have the star here. I feel like this person might be someone that has some um, characteristics that you always wanted. I feel the chemistry will be out of this world. A lot of passionate energy. But I also see here that you guys uh, might be a little bit conflict in your head about this person at some point. Because we have the Ten of Swords next to it. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it could be overthinking. Maybe you're thinking if this is the right target for you, the right person, long term. So you will be thinking a lot about this person this month. Weighing things, balancing things. Internally, you have here Angel of Balance. So I get a little bit of internal struggle about this person or about uh, relationships in general. Maybe you ended things with someone and now this person is coming back and uh, you know, you're going to be a little bit skeptical about that. Because the star is speaking about reconciliation sometimes. So maybe this is the month that uh, you'll have this chance if you want to have a reunion with this person. But uh, the advice is to think about it. Because we have here the snake in this card. We have balance. So maybe you're not sure about it for some of you. About this new, new person or about the, the person coming from your past, right? Yes, I see a lot of thinking and about um, which path to go because I feel something. You will maybe you'll get some messages from the divine that this is not the right person for you with the snake. That uh, you might have some illusions about this person and to be careful. And you also have here attachment. If it's an ex person from your past, maybe you feel attached to this person. Especially with the strength, maybe you feel attached uh, physically, sexually, on this kind of uh, level. So, in this case, because you have the ladder here, it says climbing towards success. I feel like you guys will be put to the test here, either with a new person or an old person. But you will be able to balance yourself. And you will have a good outcome eventually because you have climbing towards success and victory as well. So yes, I get a lot of um, thinking, thinking process about this person, about uh, what to do in your future. And um, you also have the magician and the mirror. So this card is speaking about manifestation, as above, so below, that you have all the power, that you're not powerless, and also is speaking about balance, balancing your fire with your logic, balancing passion, impulsivity, with uh, logical thinking. This is the advice for you for this month, and you'll be able to do that through logical thinking. I feel. 
Even if you have to sacrifice something again this month that you will get to your success. You have victory on the star. And success doesn't mean necessarily that you're going to reject this person. It means that uh, you will get, you will reach, uh, you know, a conclusion through logical thinking. And you have help here from your angels, from your uh, spirit guides in order to do that. Okay, so in the beginning you guys might be driven by your uh, raw instincts, desires here with the strength and the nine of stones. This is speaking about your instinctual uh, feelings. Maybe desire, maybe lust in the beginning, but then you will get some messages from the Divine here with a star and the Ten of Swords and you will start to be thinking more logically and you will be able to, to put things into a new perspective about the relationship here, about the union, about someone. And for some it could be about something, not necessarily about someone. It could be about relationships in general. It could be about uh, your success here, your financial success or your uh, spiritual success because I see attachment next to the magician. And then after these cards we have the temple path which is speaking about spiritual evolution. All three cards today, all three piles, sorry, are speaking about uh, something profound that will happen to you spiritually this month, which is very interesting to me. And I feel that uh, you have here success at the end, so this tells me that you will be able to overcome your attachments after a lot of thinking process. Maybe you guys um, get help, maybe you get um, help from someone professional like therapy, maybe from someone near you that will help you transmute this uh, energy into something else and for you to heal. But definitely you have the power with the magician here and you'll be able to manifest success for yourself either emotionally and spiritually or in your connections, in your relationships. Definitely. And we have the strength card, so this tells me that you'll also be able to, to become stronger, to get your confidence back and to believe more in yourself this month. Alright, let's see what else we have here. We have the ladder as I said, so maybe you guys, uh, in order to get this successful outcome, you have to overcome some uh, negative loops in your mind. Right? You have the grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling. And you will be very careful, I feel, this month. And this is also the message for you, to be careful. And not to be impulsive and to, to overcome this desire that you have, this instinct that you have with logic. That's the message here. You have dark woman dealings, a relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. It could be a woman or it could be a man, it doesn't matter. But uh, something definitely happening for you in regards to relationships here. It could be a friendship as well. And it says here, cut a two-faced friend. So this is a warning for you. Maybe you're dealing with a friend that is two-faced. And uh, because you have success, for some of you it could be that you will cut this person off and for others you will be able to resolve these problems. Caterpillar, things will not always be this way, change is coming. Change in your relationships and your thinking, your way of thinking here. Pale, time to get out of a situation. So maybe it pertains to your friendship with someone or a relationship. We have owl, good advice from a wise person. So maybe get advice from someone that will help you in this situation. Flowers, we have happiness. So this energy will change eventually. We have nest, an emotionally secure loving family is important to you. Someone, uh, guys, some of you might get a new family. 
Maybe you move in together with your significant other. Maybe you get closer to your own family, like your parents, siblings. We have crown. Honor and respect will come to you. And we have the victories here, you see. With the crown and this on her head, this headpiece of a victory. So definitely something good will come to you after you overcome some issues here in your relationships. We have bird flying, news on the way. So maybe get some good news or maybe some disappointing news. We have scissors with disappointment in some affair. I feel it mostly pertains to your friendship or uh, romantic connection. We have the bear danger, especially in money matters, and beware of greed. Hmm. So this is a warning for you, be careful with your money, maybe don't spend as much. Okay you guys, so that's all I had for you, be careful a little bit, but uh, whatever that is you'll be able to overcome and to reach uh, happiness and success at the end of it. So if you guys like this reading, if you resonate with this message, you can give me a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.